Hey Pisces, thank you so much for coming to your monthly love reading. This love reading should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, so sometimes you do have to flip the scenario. With that being said, Pisces, let's hop into your reading. Your message so far is the Sandpiper Spirit. And it's funny to me because this is all about being playful, right? It's all about tapping into a very childlike mentality um, and just kind of like going with the flow, right? Like if you take a look at if you guys have kids or if you've been around kids, they have um, a certain air about them where it's like they're just going with the flow. They don't have a lot of worries. They're not weight, you know, the, the weight of the world is not on their shoulders. And it's like they're doing what makes them happy. And I feel like your message this month is about tapping into that um, childlike energy where it's just light and it's fun. And for some reason, if you guys have been weighed down or if you guys have been stuck in a level of depression or a weird place with your person of interest, you know, it's really about lightening things up. And I think that when you guys come in with a very lighter energy, I think that your partner will follow suit. So um, that is your overall energy, which I think is beautiful. Not to mention it's 51, which is six. So this really is all about love. This is about, you know, providing a level, a level of peace, right? And sometimes peace is done with laughter. Um, and I think that when you do that, it's really going to create a very harmonious um, vibration. And I don't know, I, I just feel like there's a level of value there. And I think that this situation is is here for a reason. But I think that there's a level of compassion that that's needed, um, either on your end or your partner's end. But I feel like you can't get too much in the in the thick of things or in the mud. It's like you have to still have a very optimistic outlook on whatever's going on and kind of just take things like with a grain of salt. Okay, let's hop into your reading. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you, like I said, cross-watching, sometimes you have to flip it. It just kind of depends, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, what's the overall energy for Pisces? overall energy for romance for Pisces. Okay. We have the two of pentacles here. All right. And who is Pisces a uh, person of interest? Who's Pisces dealing with romantically right now? Okay. The ace of swords. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody that has a Jupiter in Capricorn. You also can be talking to an air sign, Gemini, um, Libra, or Aquarius. You may even be, um, an Aquarius Pisces cusp. Um, how does Pisces feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Pisces feel about their person of interest romantically? There's Pisces. Okay. Eight of wands. There's Sagittarius energy. That's Sag and or Mercury and Sag. What's the current situation romantically between Pisces and their partner? Pisces and the person of interest. Okay. The world. So we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, as well as Capricorn. Um, and what's the best potential outcome here between Pisces and their person of interest romantically? Best potential outcome here between Pisces and their person of interest romantically. Woo, that just shot out. Yes, stay optimistic. Okay, so it's interesting how the cards are even tying, like your original message is tying into your outcome. Let me push this to the side really quick, um, which I love. I really do. I feel like there's a lot of healing that's going on right now um, for for whatever reason. I also feel like, too, there there is a weird back and forth energy. And I think that right now, Pisces, you're just in your head and you're overly processing something. Okay, let me clarify it and then you can get in the reading. Well, that didn't go so well. Hold on a second. Hold my beer, Pisces. I'm trying to shuffle these bad boys. You know, I don't even drink beer, which is funny, but I always say that because for some reason it makes me laugh. I don't know. I think of like King of the Hill or like Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, God damn it. I'm a mess. All right. Um, what is the overall energy for love and romance for Pisces? Overall energy that just shot out one more time. Overall energy for love and romance. For some of you guys, you're single right now. You're talking to your friends. You're communicating about somebody that you're interested in. You may even be interested in a couple of people. Um, 
But what I can tell you, um, for your overall energy, you have soulmate in Cupid's arrow, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, who is Pisces dealing with romantically here? Who's Pisces dealing with romantically here? Somebody very attractive, somebody that tries to pretend like they're not as affected as they really are by you. Uh, let's see, who's Pisces dealing with romantically? This person does not want to let, <laughs> let in. Um, okay, we have a photograph. Um, this person may be at a distance from you because we do have the Eight of Wands here with the world and um, photograph. Um, how does Pisces feel about this person romantically? How does Pisces feel about their person romantically? Woo, okay, Butterfly is here. And I'll read into more of these in a second. Um, and what is the current situation romantically between Pisces and their person of interest romantically? Somebody's heartbroken. Somebody is upset right now. Um, and we do have keys on a ring. Okay. All right. Let's let's hop into this. It's funny, Pisces, because even if things are going back and forth between you and your person, like there is a weird duality. There is still some type of balance here. But I feel like right now, during this month, it's really going to be kind of like, I don't want to say the mundane, but I feel like that's the best word to kind of describe it for me, especially with this two of pentacles here. But I do think um, it's important to stay optimistic about your love life right now. I feel like you definitely have a soul connection with somebody, especially with the soulmate card here, or there is some type of partnership or agreement that I think you keep going back and forth about. And I do think there is a level of hesitation here on your end, and I'm not sure why, but you do feel like you've met the person that you're supposed to be with. All right. Why is the two of pentacles here for Pisces overall energy? Okay, two of pentacles, one of them was with um, the eight of cups. Okay, we have death with the ten of pentacles. Okay, that's pretty heavy energy. Um, Scorpio as well as Venus and Virgo. You know, anytime that you have death here, especially, and death is paired with rebirth, I feel like you're going back and forth on something right now. Um, Pisces trying to make the decision with whether or not you want to end it, whether or not this is something that you want to continue to, um, invest in. And I also think too, the, the one thing I want you guys to kind of keep in mind for whatever's going on, especially for the energy, like everything is going to pass, right? There is something major that's ending here. It can be an ending to juggling multiple people. It can be an ending to a marriage. But also, too, I feel like there is an ending to going back and forth and being unable to choose. I do feel like um, there is some type of surrender here or something that's really awakening you to strip yourself bare and really have a new level of growth. It's almost like you're changing your identity and it is a level of rebirth for yourself as well. Um, up until this point, you may have been a little bit reluctant to change or you've lived in the past too much. And because of that, it's like you tend to be obsessive or have these thoughts where now it's like you're letting go of those and you're really waking up and you're coming into a phase where there's going to be a lot of happiness for you. And I think that there is a new start here. Okay. What's the energy of death? What's the energy of death, please, Spirit, for Pisces? Okay. Three of cups, third party situations, or if you're talking to more than one person or somebody's talking to more than one person, I feel like that's ending. Um, I do feel like, wow, there is forward movement with somebody, possibly a cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, um, Scorpio or Aries. However, I feel like you're not expressing it or there's something going on in the background where somebody is not necessarily expressing what they're doing. Um, can you give me one card to tie together death with the Ten of Pentacles? Okay, the tower. Some of you guys are moving. Some of you guys are having a big tower moment, a big split. Um, what's the energy of this tower moment for Pisces? What's the energy of the tower moment for Pisces? 
okay? The Three of Swords. So this is coming in, Pisces, and this is something that's hurting. But I feel like it has to do with your stability. It has to do with um, family, somebody that you care about, somebody that you love. I feel like um, there's a lot of emotions that are not being expressed here, especially with the Three of Wands or the Three of Swords, right? If you take a look, like she's in pain. She's like screaming, like what the hell happened, right? And I think that here's my opinion and please don't take it the wrong way because you know, I love you guys and, and I would never say anything to be hurtful or anything like that. But I think that this two of pentacles here, it's created this tower moment because something needed to be acted on quicker. And because it wasn't, it's, it's all of a sudden everything is crumbling down, right? And I feel like that has to do with, and this is Saturn and Libra, it's it, it's a limited um, view based on fear, right? Going back and forth too much, being worried about commitment or having a level of worry when it does come to commitment where it becomes very painful. And I feel like the, uh, the inability to decide or to choose what to do or what to express has ultimately resulted um, in this Three of Swords. Like somebody is really trying hard not to be in a relationship and for whatever reason, that's really kind of torn things apart here. Um, how does Pisces feel about this energy? The Ace of Wands. Six of Cups wants to come out. Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. I think that for you, it's really having a very honest and open conversation with somebody expressing how you feel there's a level of growth here and i feel like there is a transition whatever you were going through prior this tower moment had to happen in order to strip everything down right what's the energy of the six of swords please or what's being said here with the six of swords the nine of swords you see it's like somebody has to communicate whether it's you or your partner somebody here is very upset you both may be upset but I feel like this tower moment was necessary because it's forcing people to communicate, right? It's forcing people to show that they care. It's creating time where everybody has a moment to think. I just feel like this nine of swords, three of swords, death, that type of energy, it's a very heavy energy. And that's why your advice is to take it very lightly and say, okay, yeah, this happened, but what am I going to learn from this? What do I, how do I move forward from this energy? I'm not going to dwell too much about this, but I do feel like this has either happened or, or it's already happened, or it's going to be happening very quickly because here's what's weird. I feel like things get much better for you and there is some type of new start for you. All right. Yeah, as I'm saying that, look, the chariot falls out, falls out. Yeah, like there is forward movement. It's going in the right place. There is a level of success, but I think that you have to get through this really jacked up time before you can actually have that forward movement. Okay. Who is Pisces dealing with romantically? You're currently upset or at odds with this person. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, I feel like you're really in your head, or this person is really in their head, Eight of Swords. Um, with the Two of Cups, there's Venus in Cancer, as well as Jupiter in Gemini. I feel like this, I feel like your partner is somebody that's highly intellectual. Your partner misses you a lot. I think that they want, they're thinking about having these new memories with you. However, like there is a lot of love here for this person and this person wants to offer you that, but they're in their head about actually offering it. Why? Why are they in their head about it? Why are they in their head about this with the eight of swords? Because of the moon, because Pisces, they don't know what you want. They don't know how you feel. Um, they're worried that you're going to walk away, that maybe this is a situation that you're not ready for. Why? Why? One more, one more card for the Eight of Swords, what they're in their head about, why they're in their head about expressing it, expressing how they feel, why, they're, why are they in their head about it? You see what I'm saying? The Eight of Cups with the Four of Wands. So it's almost like, I'm going to be honest. Um, and this is Pisces, right? Um, 
I think that that's what Saturn in Pisces. Saturn in Pisces is kind of a weird placement, to be honest. Um, I mean, well, maybe not, but it's it's very serious. This is a very spiritual type of energy, but also it, there is a level of self-destruction here. And um, they may endure like hard experiences usually with Saturn in Pisces. Um, but what I feel like is the fact that your partner is not completely sold on the fact that you're just for them. Um, I also think that there is that level of abandonment, especially with the two of cups here, that's Venus and Cancer. That's somebody that is scared of being left high and dry. Um, this is somebody who wants commitment and is very sensitive because security and comfort and care are important and they pay attention to everything. Um, I also feel like too, though, this, this has caused a level of possessiveness and emotional ups and downs when it does come to this person. And I feel like it's because they genuinely do love you and care about you. But at this moment, if something was expressed, if something, because you have the Ace of Swords here with the lovers and the Ace of Cups, that's clarified by the Eight of Swords, Two of Cups. That's almost like this person has expressed themselves to you and for whatever reason, they're in their head about what they said. And it can be Pisces because you've not commented or you've not responded to whatever they've mentioned. Um, also Pisces, it can be too that you've said something to them and how they responded or how they reacted was not in a good way. And now it's like they're having to figure out is Pisces walking away or are we gonna sit here and have the stability? how you feel about this person is butterfly with the eight of wands relationship evolving new phase healing and growth okay what's being communicated here with this eight of wands okay knight of swords gemini libra or aquarius for me this is definitely gemini energy um i feel like what's being communicated here is um for you like you are very optimistic and looking forward i feel like to seeing this person and really seeing where things go you're very curious about what they're doing um what they know and i just feel like there is a very positive energy and you do want to have that conversation with them because you do want to change whatever direction that this was going um i just think you don't want to do it too haste haste hastily god that's a tough word for me all right. What I, I want to know what how Pisces Pisces feels about them. I understand that there's communication, and it's like communication about physically seeing them, or going out, or something like that. Pisces, how does Pisces feel about this person romantically? Okay, Five of Wands. I think that there's some type of conflict. What was the conflict prior? What was the conflict about? Okay, the Seven of Swords. What was this conflict about? With the Four of Swords. I think this, okay, I do, I feel it. There's conflict here, okay? There is a challenge. I feel like the challenge is communication and both of your communication styles, especially with all the Swords, Four of Swords, Seven of Swords. It's like the Seven of Swords for me is having faith. Well, Sevens are faith, right? Four is stability. Fives are challenges. So it's almost like you want to have a conversation about what's not been said or what's not been seen. Maybe that's what this argument was about. Somebody may feel like the other person is hiding something or not expressing themselves here, especially with that four of swords. Um... And that four of swords is what? Is that Jupiter in Libra? It's like somebody keeps going back and forth on exactly what they want. And the funny thing is that um, partnership ultimately for the four of swords is what this person is thinking about because it's Libra, right? One more card here to sum this up, please. One more card here to sum this up. I feel like somebody's not talking temperance. I feel like there's a lot of patience here. There's patience that's being needed. I also feel like though too, and if you think about it, um, temperance comes after death and 
you have death here. So obviously something definitely had to end in order for things to transform. But the thing I really like about temperance is the fact that all of a sudden, I feel like you're seeing things from a different perspective, possibly. And I think that you're really trying to get a good balance on things. And this is a period of rebirth as well, because that is temperance. So I think that you've slowed down and you've really tried to view the world from a very different perspective here. And you're, you're trying to trust your intuition and not make impulsive or impatient decisions. Um, I just feel like right now you're trying to regain the level of stability and also consciousness that's coming when, when it comes, when it does come to this person. How does their person feel about this? Ten of Swords, Two of Wands. I think that they're upset because you're not communicating, but I feel like Pisces, you're not communicating because maybe there's a lot going on. Maybe there's a lot weighing on you and you're trying to figure everything out without everybody chattering in your head. All right. The current situation is we have the world with keys on a ring, many options, many decisions, one night stand, being strung along. Can you give me more information here with the world and the five of swords? So I feel like somebody, somebody, um, as the situation is, somebody feels like they were being strung along here. Somebody feels like somebody's lied to them, that there's a level of defeat here. Um, that is Venus in Aquarius. So this is a very unique type of energy. Um, this is a lack of sex. This is also a very unconventional situation or relationship. Um, and that is when it comes to you, the Knight of Cups. Why is this so unconventional? Why is this so unconventional? Because of the Five of Cups, because of the Seven of Pentacles. Because this is something that's taken a very long time. This is something that I feel like both parties have faith in that it's going to come to fruition the problem is it's like somebody keeps investing and I feel like the other person is not. So why is the world here? Ooh, see, it's a lot of cards, but they're great cards. Um, I'm going to put them back because I want just one card. Why is the world here? Can you sum up the world, please, for me? The world is like receiving information, cycles closing, things coming to an end. Okay, the world is here with the Six of Cups. How does Pisces feel about this? High Priestess, the Magician. You feel like you're changing things, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Now, Six of Cups, again, I feel like this is something from the past. It can have to do with a child or something like that, because obviously that's here for a reason. Um, I do think though, for whatever the reason is, there's something going on here where it is a cycle that's being broken or a cycle that's being completed. Okay. So there is a level of success here. Like anytime I see the world, there is a level of success here in whatever you're doing. However, it's important to walk in a level of harmony, right? And really give this situation your best. Maybe you're realizing that this entire time you or your partner, that this entire time that you could have been building something real, somebody has been playing games this whole time and hasn't been completely honest and truthful. Right. Um, also too, it's leaving us like the opposite of the world for me is like running away from success. It's also feeling disconnected or trying to disconnect from everybody else. And in order not to feel or not to see things in a very specific light. So it's interesting that this is coming through like this. Okay, one more card here. How does Pisces feel about this current situation? King of Pentacles wanted to come out. How does Pisces feel about this current situation? Again, the High Priestess. I feel like you're the one that's not talking, Pisces. And how does Pisces person of interest, how do they feel? about this situation towards Pisces, the Queen of Cups. I feel like your partner senses that this isn't a very emotional time and emotions are not necessarily easy to express 
Why is the high priestess here though for Pisces? I feel like you know something. You may feel like there's another person at play here, Pisces, like they're investing in somebody else. And I think that that has you in your head stuck. That's moon and Libra, like you're confused with what direction to go with this person. But for whatever reason, your partner feels like you may think your partner has another person, but they may not have another person, right? Um, and we can find out more about that in the extended. One more card here for Pisces, please. Yeah. Okay, so something surprising is coming. There is going to be a message here. Um, all right, stay optimistic about your love life. Can you please clarify this for me? Can you please clarify this for me? With strength. Okay, so I do think that there is some type of breakup. I think that there is kind of like, um, as we say, like a hitch in their giddy. So keep that in mind. There is some type of hiccup here. However, I do feel like it smooths out once there's a conversation and once somebody can express themselves and say, hey, when I did this, you know, you didn't do this. Or there's a level of self-sabotage here also that can be on your end, Pisces, because it is next to you and or it can be on your partner's end. OK, with that being said, Pisces, I love you and I appreciate you and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.